Hey everyone, Sponge Murphy here. How are you all getting on today? I do apologize, it has been roughly almost a month since I've done a GW pre-order video. Simply put, my broadband has been down for four weeks. Yes, four weeks. Thank you very much, Vodafone Ireland. Uh, you guys are fucking awful. Anyway, I'm back. Uh, it's good to be back. Finally able to make some videos. I've missed so much. I have missed Blood Bowl. I have missed the big box set. Uh, that came out with uh, for 40k but don't worry I have ordered some Blood Bowl I am getting the game Blight Scramblers just ordered them the other day so they are on the way for me I'm super super excited for that um, but this week this week is an absolutely huge release couple of let me see couple of weeks ago maybe even about two months ago there was a leaked picture that someone had of Magnus the Raid and I wasn't sure if it was real or not, but then it was proved to be real when it was out on Warhammer TV's video, uh, their Facebook page, I think, that it kind of did a funny video where it's pretty much confirmed that Magnus the Red is coming out. So we have Magnus the Red, we have the Rat of Magnus, there's a lot on it this week, a lot of uh, Zinch, 40k Zinch stuff. Exalted Sorcerers, Terminators, uh, Marines... Uh, and then kind of the other stuff that I won't be looking at as much uh, we have the Korox white spray and the black spray and the extra large can which is awesome you have your Thousand Suns dice new spray the fang spray which I think is grey by the looks of it you have Storm Vermin Brown Evelyn Sunset uh, you have your new white dwarf that's going to be out which I'm hoping to try and pick up today Armin Blue or Armin Blue I'm going to butcher that name throughout this and Thousand Suns Blue. Um, anything else? No. So straight up. Uh, and one thing that I did miss. Or that one thing that I nearly missed. That Space Hulk is up for order again on the website. I'm not a big fan of Space Hulk. But the models are awesome. They're really cool. Um, so that's up as well. That's for £75. Uh, so let's just stri jump straight into it. We have Magnus the Red coming in at €105. Euro. Uh, I do have the English prices here. So let's have a look. See how much it is in pound. Eighty pound. Um, yeah, this guy is an absolute beast. We were talking about this in college. One of one of the guys was trying to tell me he was going to be like sixty euro or something like that. I was like, this guy is going to be like a minimum of like eighty five at least. Hundred and five euro, really expensive. But look at this guy. He is an absolute beast. He is huge. The only kind of thing that I'm not too fond of is the skin color, but that's just a preference for me. The model itself is awesome. He is, his wingspan looks massive. His wings even have, um, uh, which picture was I seeing? Was it this one? This one. His wings even have like kind of a zinc kind of effects on it. Uh, I love the armor around here where it has like the zinc kind of bird face on the back of it with the beak. That is awesome. His feathers look really big. He has the hand on the eye. This thing is going to be an absolute beast. I can only imagine what the rules are going to be like. Uh, you do get a choice of three different heads. I read that below. Uh, you get the Cyclops head, which I'm not too sure about. Um, the normal head, which is pretty grumpy looking. And then you get the one with the mask, which is... The guy must only have one eye in this. And I, I, I'm completely oblivious when it comes to 40k. So, forgive me. But... This guy, he has a metal mask, which is probably maybe the one I could go for. I like that one. And the horns are massive. Huge horns and the hair on the back. Let's have a quick look at the fluff below. I know he's one of the Primarchs. I think he's the only Primarch that's still alive or something like that. I'm not too sure. Uh, second to only second only to the Emperor in, t or the Emperor in terms of psychic ability. Um, annihilating even super heavy vehicles with a sheer, with a sheer intensity of his ire. So this guy is an absolute monster. Uh, multi part, multi part plastic kit. Magnus the Red Demon Primark of Zinch. Uh, choice of three different heads: Cyclopean, open helm, and closed helm. In clad armor, Denton from before the days of the Horse Heresy. Uh, armed with the blade of Magnus. Modeled as a choice as a glaive or a sword. Hundred millimeter round base. And a crushed Space Marine or Space Wolf Dreadnought for beast or for base detail. Uh, that is one thing that I didn't see. Let's have a look at that so we can get a clearer picture of it. 
Oh, I don't think there is. I think we'll have to look at one of these ones here. Yeah, there you go. You can see the arm. And there he is compared to a Thousand Suns model. He is huge. I love his armor. I love the choice of the armor. It's like a mixture of... It's like a mixture of a, like a silvery white. Um, and there's not too much blue in it. That's what I kind of like. Just like little hints of blue. Kind of scattered all over the place. Um, three big massive sprues. Um, lots and lots of parts for this guy. And... Let me see. I didn't mention that the glaive could be a sword. But I don't think it shows it in any of these pictures. Maybe that's what it is anyway. Just like that. Yeah, maybe that's... I'm not too sure. But anyway, Magnus the Red coming in. I think it's £80, was it? Or £85. £80. Pound, €105 Euro for all you Thousand Sons Chaos guys. This is definitely a collector's piece. I like. I'd love to get my hands on this. It'd be so awesome. Get him up there next to like Nagash and some of the big ones. I think it's about time that Forty K did get something big like this. Uh, Edge of Sigmar and Fantasy over the last few years are kind of known for getting their bigger kind of monster models like this. So it's really nice to see Forty um, K getting this the kind of treatment like this as well. Uh, then we have the Rubric Marines, which are the Thousand Suns. I'm pretty sure. Uh, from Rubri's or something like that. Um, but these guys are pretty awesome. I love the color, the blue one, and the color choice is really nice. It's bright, it's vibrant, the gold really sticks out with it. They're absolutely chock a blocked with detail. Let's have a look at this guy here. I like the the symbol on the shoulder pad. It's a really nice looking one. I'm pretty sure these are uh, Thousand Suns anyway. As I said, forgive me, I'm not too sure of my 40k lore. If I mess up, let me please make sure to let me know. Um, but I love their helmets, very Egyptian style looking, even the guns here looks like they have runes on them, or some sort of effect like that. The backpacks look super awesome, look at that. Look at the kind of metal claws coming up, holding these parts up. Uh, the yellow and the blue still going down the spine of it, so awesome. Uh, let's see what you get in this box. Uh, you get enough, there's just 10 rubric, Ugh. 10 rubric Marines armed with either Inferno bolt guns or war flamers. One model can be armed with a Soul Reaper cannon. One can carry an icon of flame, and one can be assembled as an aspiring sorcerer who is armed with a four stave and either an Inferno bolt pistol or war flame pistol uh, on 32 millimeter round bases. So there you have it. These guys are pretty cool. What's the price of these? I forgot to look at it. Forty euro. Oh, the price of these is a little high, but but there's so much. Oh my god, look at that hand. Look at that. The price is a little high, but look at the difference of these compared. Look at that helmet. Holy shit. The, they're so much better than... They're so different. I don't want to say better. They're so different looking from a normal marine, like a normal chaos uh, space marine. If they're 40 euro, what are them pounds? Let's have a quick look here. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, 30 pound. Um, but I think they're awesome. I think they're actually worth... I really do think they're kind of worth that much. There's so much stuff on these, it's incredible. Even the staff there. is super cool. Uh, next up we have the Scarab Occult Terminators. Now these guys I haven't really had a chance to look at. They're 45 euro. Oh jeez. Why are they so expensive? It's crazy. Oh why is all the nice stuff so expensive? Um, so there's five of these in it. Let's have a look and see what they can be kitted out with first. So we can get an idea. The components are something. Five Scarab Occult Terminators. Armed at Inferno, Combi Bolters. And the Copesh Blades. Okay. One marine can be assembled with an can be assembled with an included heavy warp flamer, soul reaper cannon, or a hellfire missile rack. One can be assembled as a scarab called sorcerer. These guys are very magic. Jesus Christ! You nearly swear they were straight out of Age of Sigmar with all this stuff, with all this kind of magic. Um, they can exchange it for a power sword. Uh, forty millimeter round bases. I wonder if, like, these are, like, kitted out like this. Oh, look at the detail. 
if they can be kitted out as like close combat guys either instead it doesn't really mention much close combat weapons but look at the detail oh, maybe it's just a paint job on it like that blue is so nice looking it's really bright and i know that helmet there is going to be so small in that little pack it really is but these really do look phenomenal from the uh, phenomenal they look nice i can't pronounce it but it's gonna say they look nice um, all the like little markings, little beetle thing here on the shoulder pads. Let's have a look at the weapons. Yeah, even the weapons are like marked up. Look at the missiles on the back of this guy. Holy shit! Let me find this guy. Oh, that's what that is from here. It just looks like some like round parts. But from the side, you can see the missiles sticking out. Of it. Holy shit! That's so cool. That is awesome. You can see the missiles kind of through the side of it here as well. That is awesome. Guns are all kitted up. That's that's so cool. I can see why they're so expensive now. I said the detail in these to make is incredible. The staff looks so good. This is probably the nicest 40k release I've seen for such a long time. Uh, but they're awesome. They're 45 euro. I'm going to move on quickly because I'm spending too much time saying, Oh, look at these. They're so awesome. Uh, I'm going to butcher this name, I'm going to call them Zangors, or Zangors, or Zingors, but I'm going to call them Zangors. Um, these, to me, kind of look like the blood letters of uh, Zinch. Uh, and I do, I like these, they're really nice looking, the colours and everything, but when I see them with a, like a pistol, they do kind of look a little bit weird like that. If they had just co uh, combat weapons, close combat weapons, uh, like a couple of daggers, a couple of knives, maybe. But it's just that the, hand, the guns kind of put them off a little bit. They're 35 euro. Um, how many do you get? You get 10 in it. So it's pretty cool. The price isn't too bad. It's not too high. Uh, let's see how much the price is in pound. If my page can roll back up. 27.50 and the Terminators are 35 uh, in pound as well. Uh, then we move on to now this guy. I apologize again. Third time this video. But I'm going to butcher this name. Ahriman or Ahraman. I'm not too sure, but this guy is thirty two fifty. Again, he's pretty expensive. Uh, but he looks the part. He looks like the thirty two fifty. Um, you get the disc. You get. Look, let's just let's just look at the detail on this guy. The helmet the, is all. It's I don't know. It's awesome. It's all like, kitted up. The shoulder pad. Is all done up. He has all this detail on him. His staff has horns. Uh, the cloak is pretty nice looking. Uh, you have like a magic book or something like that. And here you can see the bottom of the disc. But the backpack. Look at this backpack. Look at that. It's so awesome. Uh, Thirty-two fifty. That's a little bit pricey. Um, if you really wanted them I suppose. Yeah. Then finally we have the exalted sorcerers. Uh, this is now this is a pretty cool price. Forty five euro. Uh, let's get that in pound. Uh, thirty five pound. In Armin is twenty five. Uh, you get three of these for forty five euro. Um, let's see if they're on multi part. Yeah, they're, I'm not sure if they're on multi part. Doesn't really say it. Uh, but it says the disc can be flipped upside down, so you get two versions of the disc. That's one which you don't really show in this. Oh no, I wasn't going to press on that one. Uh, but you don't get to see one side of the, uh, the disc. Um, let me see. So one guy is on foot. That's this guy. He's pretty awesome looking. Look at his hand is getting all funny up around here as well. And one guy is kind of floating around as well. So you have one in the... Uh, here he is here in the background. This. What am I doing? Just click on this one. He's kind of floating around, flying around the battlefield. Uh, pretty awesome. 45 euro. It's a little bit expensive, but these are... They're just like the rest of them. They're detailed to fuck. They're beautiful. Uh, and then lastly, it's just a Goblin Town multi-pack that I've seen just before I started. So I put that in at the end there. 60 euro if you want to get like the wooden parts and everything. Uh, it's pretty expensive, but it's there if you ever need it. Uh, but all together, this Thousand Suns Magnus the Red pre-order 40k release has been perfect. Uh, or has been brilliant. So let me know what you guys think. If you 
two thumbs up for Magnus the Red or whatever you want. Let me know in the comment section below. Make sure to hit the like button. And I appreciate you guys watching this. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.